should do testing and case investigation, ensuring that the majority of the students uh, uh, did not get the virus. So, for those of you who are wondering if this is even possible, I was just referring to the experience we've had for two months with child care and suggest that it is going very well. I have to um, thank Director Courtney Hawkins for her tremendous work. And I also want to invite all of you to join Director Hawkins and me tomorrow at 3 o'clock for our weekly Thursday 3 o'clock Facebook Live uh, to talk more about what are the lessons we learned from child care and what can we learn from that to make our schools safer when they reopen. I think it's, it's important for everyone to hear. So if you're a parent, if you're a concerned parent, teacher, concerned citizen, you want to know what's it going to take to safely get kids back to school, I would encourage you to tune in tomorrow, 3 o'clock, Facebook, hear from Director Hawkins and myself. We'll probably have another, um, I think we'll have another pediatrician with us, and we're going to talk about it. Okay, we are scheduled to start school in Rhode Island in five weeks, so August 31st. And as I said, our job between now and then is to work as hard as we can so that we will do that safely. Uh, it's a Herculean task. I spent an hour, and longer than an hour this morning on the phone with all the superintendents. They're all pulling their hair out, trying to figure out how to do this. Uh, I think you're trying hard and I applaud your work. It means we have to think comprehensively about facility readiness, transportation, testing, classroom structure, precautions for teachers, we've got to keep our teachers safe, staff. It means establishing clear criteria and guidelines and working with school districts to ensure that they're enforced. And it means having a plan ready to change on a dime if we see spikes. Um, so I want to start off briefly by saying where we are here in Rhode Island. Last week, we had 630 new positive cases. That translates to 59 weekly cases per 100,000 people. 59, wait, remember that, 59 per 100,000 in Rhode Island last week. Florida is at 358 weekly cases per 100,000. Louisiana, 326. Mississippi, 307. If we lived in one of those states, or Texas, or Arizona, or California, we'd be having a very different conversation right now. But if we can keep ourselves at about 60 cases a week or lower, we can have a reasonable, thoughtful discussion around how do we get children back to school. Uh, and by the way, 90 countries around the world have reopened schools, so we know it can be done. And many of them, when they've opened schools, they've seen no spikes. So it can be done. The question is, what do we have to have in school? 